The National Road was the first major road built by the federal government. Built between 1811 and 1837, after authorization by Thomas Jefferson in 1806, uh, the project was championed by Albert Gallatin, uh, Jefferson's 1801 Secretary of the Treasury appointee. The canonical National Road uh, ranges from Cumberland, Maryland to Vandalia, Illinois. Uh, construction was painfully slow. It wasn't until 1828, for example, that the Illinois section even began being surveyed, and a year after for the first money to be approved. It was another two years after that, in 1830, that the first contracts were awarded to construction companies. The nature of the road from the point of view of someone traveling on it was rough. In some areas, for example, the road surface was simply a pile of dirt. Uh, other sections were corduroy road, a uh, timber trackway, basically. Uh, one can easily imagine how bumpy and even perilous traveling the road was. Today, the National Road is mostly mirrored by US Route 40. Uh, sections and areas were realigned from what they were originally, but it's still fairly close to the historical route. Though rare, some original constructions still survive. This stone arch is a perfect example. Uh, located just outside of Marshall, Illinois, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built it sometime between 1834 and 1837, according to the dedication plaque. Uh, no mortar was used in its construction. There actually is another much larger stone arch bridge, but uh, its location is less known. I tried to find it based on Wikipedia information and only found this old section of road you see here. Uh, the road surface is concrete as you can see. Uh, other sections nearby are brick. This covered bridge is in Clark Center, uh, just up the way from the stone archways. Uh, of course, this is not an original construction, but a modern imagining of the bridge that originally existed. This similar covered bridge is in Greenup, uh, spanning the Embra River. Again, uh, it is not the original structure, uh, but in this case, the original bridge really was a covered bridge. Uh, it was washed out in a flood sometime in the 1800s and was uh, rebuilt uh, multiple times since then, uh, most recently in the mid-1990s. Uh, 